Welcome to the Chess Your Map. Hi friends. Today we are going to discuss local maximum and local minimum in a graph. This is a graph of a cubic function. This is a graph of a cubic function and again this is a graph of a cubic function. Just see in this graph this point this point is the local maximum local maximum point and this point in the graph is the local minimum point. See in this graph, this graph has no maximum, no maxima and no minima, no local maxima and no local minima. Once so again I repeat, in this graph, this is the local maximum point and this is the local minimum point. Both are examples of a cubic function. This cubic function has local maxima and local minima. This is also an example of a cubic function. But this graph has no maxima and no minima. It's constantly increasing from minus infinity to positive infinity. Now we have to remember some of the points for finding local minimum and local maxima. A stationary point on a curve is any point where the curve has gradient 0. So here the first derivative you have the first derivative of a function should be 0 and that particular point what you have obtained is the stationary point. A stationary point on a curve is any point where the curve has gradient 0. The next local minimum and local maximum. If a function f of x has a stationary point when x is equal to a then if f double dash of a greater than 0 then the point is a local minimum. If f double dash of a less than 0, then the point is a local maximum. So what you have to keep in mind, the second derivative of a function is greater than 0, then the point is local minimum. And if the second derivative of the function is less than 0, then the point is a local maximum. This is one of the important problem in our portion. Let us start. So what is the question given? Find the coordinates of the stationary points on the curve with the equation. The function given is y is equal to 2x cubed minus 15x square plus 24x plus 6. So what is the b part? You have to find d square y by d square and use it to determine the nature of the stationary points. The third, after getting all the points, you have to sketch the graph of the function. So what you are going to find in A, you have to find the coordinates of the stationary points. You are going to find the stationary points. So let us do the first A part. The A, A part is the given function is y is equal to 2x cubed minus 15x square plus 24x plus 6. So what is the first step? We have to find the first derivative that is f dash of x, f dash of x that is dy by dx which is equal to 2x cubed differentiation is 6x square and 15x square differentiation is 30x and 24x differentiation is 24. So what I have to do? You have to put this first derivative 0 to find the stationary points. To find the stationary points. So first derivative is dy by dx. So that you have to put 0. dy by dx is equal to 0. That is 6x square minus 30x plus 24 is equal to 0. Now 6 you can take outside x square minus 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. Now you have to factorize it. You can factorize it using a calculator. 
and then write the answer. So x minus 4, x minus 1 is equal to 0. So what are all the values you will get? x is equal to 4 and x is equal to 1. So we got two points x is equal to 4 and x is equal to 1. Now what you have to do is, if x is equal to 4, we can substitute this 4 in the equation y is equal to and get the y point also. So when we substitute x is equal to 4 in this, what will you get? 2 into 4 cube minus 15 into 4 square plus 24 into 4 plus 6. So when you calculate this, you will get the answer as minus 10. So the x value is 4 and the y value is minus 10. So 4 comma minus 10 is a stationary point. Now we have x as 1. When we take x is equal to 1, we can substitute this 1 in y. So what will you get? y is equal to 2 into 1 cube minus 15 into 1 square plus 24 into 1 plus 6. Here when you calculate it, you will get the answer 17. Now 1 comma 17 is again a stationary point. So you have got stationary points, two stationary points. 4 comma minus 10 and 1 comma 17. 4 comma minus 10 and 1 comma 17 are the stationary points. So in the A question we have completed, we have found the stationary points. Now what is B part? D square Y by DX square you have to find now and you have to find, tell the nature of the stationary points. You have to find D square Y by DX square and you have to say the nature of the stationary points. So before going to solve the B part we have to keep these points in mind. So if F double dash of A greater than 0 the point is local minimum and if f double dash of a less than 0, the point is local maximum. If the second derivative is greater than 0, then local minimum. If second derivative is less than 0, it is a local maximum. Now let us solve the b part. The b part is, you have to find the second derivative. So when you differentiate 6x square, this dy by dx is in your a part. dy by dx is equal to 6x square minus 30x plus 24. You have already differentiated in your problem a. Now you have to differentiate the same again. So 6x square minus 30x plus 24. When you differentiate this you will get 12x minus 30 and 24 uh, the constant differentiation is 0. So now what you have to do? So you have the stationary points 4 comma minus 10. Okay. So we have to substitute this 4. That is at x is equal to 4. Just see what happens to the second derivative d square y by dx square. So we are substituting 4 in the second derivative. So in the place of x you have to substitute 4. So 12 into 4 minus 30. So you will get the answer as 18. 18 is greater than 0. So what is d square y by dx square? It is the second derivative. So when you get the second derivative z greater than 0, then we can call this as local minimum. We can decide it as local minimum and we can say 4 comma minus 10 is a local minimum point.
So the next d square by dx square is equal to 12x minus 30. So the next tertiary point is 1, 17. So at x is equal to 1, d square by dx square is equal to 12 into. So we have to substitute 1 in the place of x. 1 minus 30. So 12 minus 30, you will be getting minus 18, which is less than 0. So if you get the second derivative less than 0, you can say that as local maximum. So 1 comma 17 is a local maximum point. So here you are getting less than 0 and we can conclude that it is a local maximum point. So we have got 4 comma minus 10 as a local minimum point and 1 comma 17 as a local maximum point. So in the B part we have to determine the nature of the points right. So these are the nature local maximum point and the local minimum point. Now C part. So C part is catching the graph of the function. So what is the function? Y is equal to 2x cube minus 15x square plus 24x plus 6. And what you have got? 1 comma 17 local maximum point and 4 comma minus 10 local minimum point. See this graph I have taken the y, y axis as 2 units. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 like that. And the x axis is 1 unit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So first point is what? 1 comma 17. So I am marking 1 comma 17 here. So I have made a mark 1 comma 17. 1 comma 17 I have marked. Now 4 comma minus 10. So 4 comma minus 10 I marked. So before drawing the graph, we have to keep in mind one thing. So see this. Both these graphs are cubic function, but in this graph you don't have local maximum and local minimum. But in this graph you have local maximum and local minimum. So when you are drawing the graph, in your problem you got the value of local maximum and local minimum. So you have to keep in mind that your graph should be like this. So this is the 1,17 point and this is 4, minus 10. So I am joining this point. So then the graph will be like this. Because this is your local maximum point and this is your local minimum point. Your graph should look like this as our first graph in the introduction. This way. So because this is the local maximum point, this should be the local maximum point and this should be the local minimum point. Now we have sketched the graph of a cubic function with local maximum and local minimum point. So this is the graph of the function y is equal to 2x cube minus 15x square plus 24x plus 6. And you have the local maximum and local minimum points. If you have any doubt you can post it in the comment box. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. Please to subscribe to our channel.